Hiya, once again, Tim with Tim's Computer Repair back again with another video. And in this video, I am going to be talking about how we can create a bootable USB thumb drive for any Mac operating system. This is to install your Mac operating system. And we're going to use Terminal to create this bootable disk. Now to start off, you will need a flash drive that is at least 14 gigs in size. And as you can see here, I have this USB plugged in to my Mac and it is a 30 gig capacity drive. It is labeled as untitled, but as long as you're 14 gigs or larger, you're good to go. Now after you have your USB drive mounted, we wanna go ahead and go to utilities. We want to open up Disk Utility. We need to format this USB drive. Okay, once we have Disk Utility open here, you will see uh, the main drive, which is in the computer itself, and then you'll have this external drive that is labeled Untitled. That's what we want to select. And as you can see here, this shows our flash drive. So we're going to go ahead and click Erase. I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this drive from Untitled to Mac OS. And then once we have it labeled how we want to, we want to make sure that our format is Mac OS Extended Journal. That's what we want. Then we just click Erase, and it'll take just a, a few seconds there, and it's erasing that drive, and it says that it is successful. So now we can close out Disk Utility. Get this window here out of our way. And then over here on the right, you can see Mac OS. Now that title has been changed. Now you will have to obtain an operating system of your choice. And there's really only one good way to go about doing this. Apple uses an application or .app extension for its operating system, similar to Windows ISO files for Windows installs. And I'll show you here in a sec where we can download these .app files. But we also want to make sure that they get downloaded into our Applications folder because that is where Terminal is going to look. And as you can see here, I have several .app files uh, that I've already downloaded and they're in the Applications folder. As you can see, I've got several. Mojave, Monterey, Ventura, Big Sur, Catalina, so I can create bootable uh, disk USB drives from each and every one of those installers. So if you head over to Apple support, Apple was kind enough to give you sort of a links that you can click on to connect you straight to the app store and download the application that you want or the operating system that you want. I'll have a link to this support page down in the description below this video. Just for giggles, I'm going to select Big Sur here. It says open the App Store, and in the App Store, you will see the operating system that you selected. Now, down here, the blue button says open. That's because I've already downloaded it, but it will say download. So you have to download this .app file, and then when it goes to automatically install, just cancel the install, and that .app file will remain in your Applications folder. Keep in mind that it's a fairly large download, it's, this one is almost 13 gigs in size, and you have to use a Mac, very important, you have to use a Mac that supports that operating system if you want to download. Now we're going to open up Terminal. We just want to go up to Go, Utilities, and down at the bottom we'll open up our Terminal. Now there is a unique command for each operating system that you use in Terminal to create this USB boot drive. This is the one for Big Sur. And as you can see, it has Big Sur in the command, dot app, and that is in the applications folder. And then at the very end of the command, it says volumes forward slash my volume. My volume needs to be changed to the name of the volume that we created Mac OS. So let's do that now. I'm going to just get rid of my volume here and enter in Mac OS. This volume location is case sensitive, so be sure you get that right. That's important. 
It is going to ask for your master password. I'm typing it now. It doesn't show that. After you type your password in, you just press enter. And then it'll start processing. And then it'll show you that in order to continue, they need to erase the volume. In Mac OS, you just type yes. And now erasing data, you see that the drive disappeared from the desktop. And now it's back with the labeled install Mac OS Big Sur. And as you can see, it is starting to copy the disk from the .app file from the applications folder. Now this process takes quite some time. And you might ask, why am I doing it this way when I could just use the recovery options built into every Mac? And I will say, this keeps me from having to download the .app file time and time again. It saves me time as a repair technician. I get Macs in all the time that I need to reinstall the .app operating system. And uh, this will prevent me from having to download it every time. It saves time. So that's a big thing. As I said, this process will take a little bit of time to create. But once it's created, it boots right into a live environment where you can go ahead and install your operating system. Now, if you have an older computer and you're trying to download some of these newer operating systems from Apple, you're going to have a problem with the App Store because it's not going to let you download it. And if that's the case, there are other ways of getting that operating system, but it's usually from third parties. And you need to be very, very, very careful downloading anything that's not from the App Store for sure. And as you can see, we're getting very, very close to completing this process. Once it finishes transferring the operating system to the flash drive, it'll then proceed to creating the boot sector of the drive itself. And as you can see here, it says making disk bootable. This process shouldn't take no longer than uh, two or three minutes. And as you can see, it says the install media is now available. It's good to go. You now have a Mac OS Big Sur bootable flash drive that we can plug into any Mac and go through the installation process as long as that Mac is compatible with that operating system. I will have the terminal code to each operating system down in the description below this video. Now we can eject our bootable flash drive we can go ahead and plug it into any Mac that we wish to install this operating system on. We'll simply plug it in. Then we'll press and hold the option button. And then we'll press and hold the power button. And this will activate uh, our boot sequence to where it'll show us uh, what our boot options are. It's pretty much uh, how you get your boot options on a Mac. Once you hold that down for a bit, you will get the boot options screen that it will display. And here you can see our boot options. The one to the right that says Tempster Mac, that is the internal drive. The one to the left is the Install Mac OS Big Sur. That's our bootable install drive. We'll go ahead and select that. And then we'll let that load. That'll take a little bit of time. Again, please keep in mind that this will only install on Macs that are compatible with that operating system. If your Mac is too old to install Big Sur on it or any other operating system, this will not work. Okay, after this recovery here boots, it says Mac OS recovery here, you'll have several options. We'll have a look here at what it gives us. It's going to take a minute to find your volumes. And you'll see here our options. The one at the bottom is disk utility. Before you install your new operating system, you want to just pro go ahead as we did before and go into disk utility. And we want to go ahead and locate our internal drive. We got disk utility here. And you can see Timster Mac up top. That is your main drive. Yours will be named something else, but that is the internal drive. It says internal right there up top. We want to go ahead and select that. Once we have the internal drive selected, you can see here, we want to go ahead and erase the drive. Now, I'm not going to do this on this computer because I already have an operating system installed. 
but this is what you want to do and you want to format you want to name it what you want as before and use the APFS file system very important and click erase but be sure you have all of your data backed up if you have data on that drive because at this point you will lose that data once that drive is formatted we can go up to install Mac OS Big Sur and we'll click on that and there we go this is how we get started installing your operating system on your Mac with the USB thumb drive. You just click on continue and follow all the steps and you will have your new operating system fresh brand new uh, up and running in no time. I am Tim with Tim's Computer Repair. Until next time everybody, see you soon.